Hi, I'm Andy. Have you ever asked the question, what's so good about Good Friday? I mean, a man uh, dragged out of the city, stripped stark naked, nailed to a cross, hung up there and left to die. And all the hatred and the mockery and the ridicule that was going on, and a man dies and that's it. And you think, what's so good about Good Friday? Why do we call it Good Friday? And yet millions all over the world celebrate the event. It's on our calendars. It's in our diaries. What's so good about Good Friday? Well, it also begs another question. And the two questions are linked. The other question is, what about all the evil in the world? What about all the wrong in the world? And those two questions are linked. Now, what we see right from the word go, as soon as mankind rebelled against God and went and, and did its own thing and went its own way, God banished that evil. If you remember uh, at the time, the relationship between man and God was broken. The relationship between the man and the woman was wrecked. Uh, uh, the world was under a curse, everything went wrong. And God banished them from the garden that they were in. And all the way through the Bible, we find that God has to deal with evil. And God says that ultimately, he is going to forever banish evil. He will put it outside of his world. And so this issue of evil, it does kind of, it begs the question, doesn't it? What about the evil in my life? And I guess we all react by trying to belittle it. We say it was only a little white liar. It was only a little bit of gossip. It was only a, a small thing that I did. And yet we know if it's on the other foot, if it's done to us, it's a big issue. And to God who created a good moral world, he said that is a, a, a blot on my world. Every wrong thought, word or deed is wrong. And God says that's going to have to be banished. It will have to go. And so that's a huge issue for all of us. Until we see how God deals with it himself. And God takes it on himself. And God comes in the form of Jesus Christ. And you'll know that all the way through his life, he was saying, my time hasn't come. My time is not yet. And then when it comes to the cross, he says, this is my time. And there he's given a false trial. He's taken outside of the city, nailed to a cross and left to die there. And we can still ask that question. Well, so why does that make it Good Friday? Well, what the Bible shows is that Jesus Christ was taking our evil upon himself when he was on that cross. And it wasn't just that he went outside of the city to be crucified. But it was that he went outside of God's care and kindness, if I could put it like that. You see, when Jesus was on the cross, his cry was, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? And we see for the first time ever that Jesus has been forsaken by God. Why? Because he was taking our evil upon himself. He was taking the punishment for the wrong that we have done. All of that stuff that God says, I've got to banish it. Jesus took that on himself. And when he's 
under that curse, if you like, when he's got that our wrongdoing on himself, then he's abandoned by God and he's in the darkness. Now, you may know that when he was on the cross, there was three hours of darkness. Instead of that hot, blazing midday sun, it went dark for three hours. And what we discover is that Jesus went into the darkness so that we could come into the light of God's goodness and kindness to us. We see that Jesus, he was banished. The banishment that should have been ours, he was banished so that we could be accepted. He went down into death so that we could have new life in Jesus. And our evil was taken by him. It was put on him and he carried that so that God can give his goodness to us, his righteousness, so that we need never be banished from God's presence. And so Good Friday is good because it means we can be forgiven and accepted by God, never having to fear God's banishment but that we can know a restored relationship with God through what Jesus has done. And we can do that by coming and asking God to forgive us, to confess the wrong that we've done and asking him to forgive us and putting our faith in what Jesus Christ did for us there on the cross on that wonderful day and so it becomes a great day for us a good day I hope that you'll find it to be good for you if you want further help if you've got questions or you'd like to know more then please email me at the address that is in the description underneath the video